Link's in the description. All right, guys. It's a lead dragon here. We're doing a video here on workplace safety by John Tron. Uh, I had to redo the video here. So we're going to try here for take two. All right. Uh, let's have zoom out here. Get everything situated. All right. Let's go for it. Ow! Heat was hot! So let me know when you're right. Ow, fucking hell. I actually burned myself for real. Alright, ow. Oh, you shouldn't be doing what I'm doing. I don't think you're supposed to do that. Okay, ready? Make sure you guys check him out. Great channel. I'll leave a link down in the description. does all right today we're gonna be watching some work safety videos I love these you know the ones that uh, employers show their staff that say things that a five-year-old should know by age four yeah those <laughs> these are the best all right let's enjoy some of the best work safety videos the internet has to offer. oh yeah I've seen my share of few from different jobs all right I've number had. one think about this I'll try I've already watched like a good amount of this, but uh, gotta do it again here. I was, I think. I mean, actually, had you All been right. there, you might have disagreed. Oh my god. He's woven straight into that Persian. There's a, there was a video out there I saw. It was part of, um, oh, I forgot uh, who did it. Um, but it was basically this factory and it was these two guys standing outside of this, some kind of roller, like these multiple rollers and, uh, uh, some type of fabric or something that was being, you know, taken in it and out, whatever. But, uh, the guy got too close to it and he touched it and he got like sucked right in it. And obviously he died from it, but like that part, I'm like, ah, uh, man, <laughs> something like that, like has happened before. Like I just mentioned, it happened in the video I saw, but, but dang, it just, that's why they have certain precautions. But a lot of these videos that they have, it is, they put so much humor into it. It just seems like, how can you take it seriously? But you know, it is serious, but I don't know. I just, <laughs> Little ramble there, but let's get back to it. And rug forever now. Yes, okay. He had a bit of an accident, but it's one of a kind. I give you good price. Don't think act, Ooh, act about this. I mean, while you're thinking about it, he's sparking. There's right. flames shooting out of his eye sockets. Help him! You're gonna burn up in that hot suit today. Boy, I hate that darn thing. I'm not gonna wear that hot suit. I'm not gonna wear that. Go in the radioactive chamber. Hate that radioactive suit. It's boring. Psh, out of fashion. Warm. Psh, don't like it. Oh, my skin's melting. What the fuck do you think's gonna happen? That was just that guy's fault. That's not work safety. That's work dum dum. <laughs> if you have a wrench directly embedded into your brain, do you even have time to go? Ah! Is it more? Is it not more? Just like. Oh, I didn't realize that was right there. Please don't die, you were alive before you died. Don't die, That now this gets straight to the point, gets to the meat of it. When you're on the job, don't die. That's gonna really affect my bottom line. What do I pay you for? What do I pay you for? You're literally less than useless. My paraplegic grandma could do more than you, god damn it. Language, John. All right, number two, coughs and sneezes. 1945. This is where it kind of cut off for me when I had to stop. You may here. have met a few people who like doing this sort of thing. <laughs> oh, he might be me. They're a nuisance, I agree, but pretty harmless. You have certainly seen thousands like this. They're not a nuisance. They're Whoa. a real danger. <laughs> this guy's just a dighead is what he is. <laughs> Everyone's like, come on, man, Jesus. Hi, stop it, you. 
Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. Stop it. That's what you say the first time you see someone do that. There's no video necessary for this. Someone goes, hey, what's going on? Ooh, in a big crowd. Stop it. Stop. What the fuck? Come here. What do you think you're up to? You've probably infected thousands of people already. What do you think this is for? I'm going to jam it right up your ass for being such a stupid, <laughs> inconsiderate piece of shit. Close your mm. eyes. I mean, at least be a little so. more delicate with it. I've always wanted to know, does Pepper make you sneeze? They're always in the old cartoon, Ch -ch -ch Pepper, achoo, says Seba Sebastian the cat. Fuck, that wasn't his name. What was Sylvester. the cat? Sylvester the cat. <laughs> Sebastian was a crab. <laughs> this is not safe. <clears throat> all my... All my passages are burning up. It's a never-ending feeling of it's my regret. inner world <laughs> on fire. This was dumb. Sneeze, handkerchief. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> Understand? Handkerchief, sneeze. Got it? Okay, I see, okay. I just sneezed once, dude. I was on the phone, I sneezed. Hey, can I just go? Now you can carry on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's going to be able to, dude. You can't just break a man like that and then and then tell him to just carry on. I wonder where he is today. Hello, I'm Inspector Roy, here to do your regular city health inspection. Uh, just do your regular city health inspection, not here in uh, Inspector Garb and uh, a secret serial killer at all. Just Inspector Roy. <laughs> Very good spaghetti. Oh, Harry. That's a major violation. You can't eat and drink in the kitchen. Oh, Harry, not only is that a major violation of health, that's a violation of human decency. Well, Harry, you just keep messing up here. You've got on dirty clothes. You just wiped your hand with your gloves. You need an apron on, and you've got a He looks seriously like he's mad dogging Inspector Roy right now. All right, I ain't eating in the sink, but you'll be eating through a tube for the rest of your life. Harry, what are you doing in there without the light on? You can't be washing dishes without the light on. Now, what are you doing back there? You better not be doing anything illegal under cover of darkness. Let's see, this Who is your chemical storage closet, but you have food in here stored with chemicals. Yeah, that's a big Now, that's no. a, a violation, and that's a repeat from your last inspection. This place is like a serious hazard. I feel like we're, I feel like we're slowly uncovering a crime scene here. Now, why would you need three barrels of hydrochloric acid. Here, this is a Wendy's. Harry, that's not a hand sink, that's a prep sink. You just washed your hands on top of your defrosting chicken and contaminated it. And this chicken here, it's a 64 degrees. It's in the danger zone. That should have been stored. I don't think I've ever heard anyone refer to a raw chicken as in the danger zone. Danger zone. Oh yeah, that does look like. Like a Harry, there's blood all over this lettuce. You cross-contaminated. <laughs> no! I mean, I already made the joke, and now it's serious. <laughs> it really is turning to a murder scene. Now, Harry, what is going on here? You got fingers in the spinach, a foot in the arugula, and that's just bringing a whole new meaning to a head of lettuce. Harry, I heard that toilet flush, but I didn't hear the hand sink. Did you wash your hands? Got to wash your hands before you return. Nah, no, I didn't. <laughs> What's going on? John called me and said the health inspector was here. Yeah, we failed pretty bad thanks to Harry. Harry? Who's Harry? <laughs> Harry got away with the watermelon scot free! You gotta be fucking kidding me! He got away with this whole time, you bastards! You've been hoodwinked! <laughs> Okay, this one's called Shoe Store Head Trauma. Bloody Lucky. Hello? What? I have to go. I mean, she's just like shopping at your store, isn't it? Is yeah, I've dealt with people Can like I that. Help you? Do you have this in a size 8, please? Let me check the back. That yeah, worker is you check rude as heck. See if I care. Yeah, I'm getting a little nervous. I'm getting a little uneasy. I hope she like falls through the wall onto the other lady and they both die through. because really they both seem kind of unpleasant and I don't like them everything okay oh what a surprise are you dying back there 
They've been feuding for 17 years, and this is it. This is this is this is their final <laughs> revenge. Oh wow! It almost sounds like someone took like one of the screws out of the ladder here. back there. <laughs> Whoops. Game over. Well, yeah. Don't don't do that. Don't fall on the fluorescent glass. Smash die, and die. And I don't I think agree. you should be climbing a ladder on hills. I mean, that's not very smart. Now we got heat stress safety training video. As spring evolves into summer, the potential for heat-related illness also rises. Jesus Christ, I'm not joking. Like, this video is actually making me uncomfortable because I, I hate the heat. Collectively known as heat stress. Holy crap, that's a hot man! <laughs> Get this man a friggin' Dasani! These illnesses include heat cramps, heat rash, heat syncope. I don't feel so good. Is heat syncope? Oh, no. Heat cramps, sky cramping. Okay, got it. Heat rash, beautiful visual. Heat syncope. I don't feel so good. Oh, I wish I wasn't suffering from this heat syncope. That you guys I've never heard of that. Either. That's what it is, isn't it? In this program, we'll learn how to respond to victims of specific heat related problems, and most importantly, the heat death of the universe. Heat stress. When exposed to hot conditions, excess body heat is expelled when the amount of blood circulating to the skin is increased. Yeah, I know how being hot works. Is this, you can't seriously be telling me they're making a video about this. I mean, I don't know if this video kind of like explained things properly. I feel like I gotta go follow up on the website here. ATR-Inc.com, let's see what they got for us. Here it is. Understanding and preventing heat related illnesses. $495? What the hell? They're, they're, they're selling this 16 minute video about sweating for $500? Do you want to know what's even scarier than that? That is apparently the best seller. Above stormwater pollution prevention plan. One of them is stand in the shade, drink a cold iced water. The other is uh, there's pollutants in the water. It's going directly into 5,000 families' houses. 16 newborns are affected. Stand in the shade. Get a little, hold one of those little fans, one of those little fans, hold it on your face when it gets a little hot. This is a story about a magical place. Oh, dang it. Uh. Where everything's amazing. Air New Zealand safety. Oh my god, is this what plays on the plane? Right. Nothing. We're gonna end the video here, right, guys. Do a part two. So if you like this video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, check out more of JonTron. Right. Have a good one.